Also this noon, a resignation in disgrace. Those words used by U.S. Attorney Bill Hochul describing this man, Robert Eloff, who this afternoon is off the Buffalo Police Force. Eloff was working security at Molly's Pub the night Bill Sager was launched down a flight of stairs inside the bar by the bar manager. Eloff admits that he violated Sager's friend's civil rights when he falsely had him arrested for trespassing. 7 Eye Witness News reporter Ed Dranch has covered every twist and turn in this case. He's live at federal court where this admission was just made public. Ed, what can you tell us? And Katie, for the first time in the two year history of this case, we have finally heard something more from Rob Eloff other than the invocation of his Fifth Amendment rights. Today in federal court, he pleaded guilty to violating a man's civil rights, and now he's preparing to suffer the consequences. Walking confidently into court, Robert Eloff was quiet, guilty, he told the judge when asked how he pleads to a civil rights violation under a plea deal for falsely arresting Donald Hall outside Molly's Pub in May 2014, all in connection to Bill Sager's death. He's accepted responsibility. He's prepared to move forward with his life. Eloff was working security at the bar as an off-duty Buffalo police officer. He was forced to resign from the department as a condition of this deal. His future is now being argued by his attorneys, fighting for him to stay out of prison. With this guilty plea, U.S. Attorney Bill Hochul says Eloff faces a year in prison. There are a lot of people, though, who will argue that he is just getting off with a slap on the wrist here. Well, what I would say, first of all, is facing 12 months in prison if you're a federal or, excuse me, a former police officer is hardly a slap on the wrist. Secondly, the alternative was for Officer Eloff not to have been punished or prosecuted in any way, shape, or form. That was out of the question for Bill Sager Sr., father of Air National Guard Tech Sergeant Bill Sager, who died months after he was pushed down a flight of stairs by Jeffrey Basil inside the bar. Eloff helped drag the unconscious Sager out of the bar after he was pushed. Would I like to have seen a, a f felony? Of course, you know, everybody, everybody would like to see a, a felony. You know, when you're a felon, you know, there's a lot of rights you, that you lose. Still, Sager believes this guilty plea sets an example, putting police officers, even those who are off duty, on notice. Be a police officer, don't be a cop. Do what's right, don't do what's wrong. I don't think you can get away with it because, you know, eventually you're not. There was another off-duty officer working security at Molly's Pub the night Bill Sager was pushed down the stairs inside the bar. Adam Oshai is his name. Oshai, we've learned today, will not face any federal charges. He's still suspended with pay, however, from the Buffalo Police Department. As for Jeffrey Basil, the man accused of manslaughter and later convicted of that charge, he's now serving 18 years in state prison as a result of that conviction. We're live downtown this afternoon. Edge Ranch, 7 Eyewitness News. Ed, thank you. And